Welcome back to Bullet Catcher Gaming. This is, of course, Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Now, you may have seen out there in the wilderness of YouTube or other such places, lots of people come up with their own videos uh, or content based around what are the best weapons in the game. It might be individual videos, it might be a top five or things like that. And, you know, we were thinking about this a little bit and we thought, rather than kind of create our own version or do what the best weapons in the game are because we do get asked quite a lot we thought we'd include you guys in fact not just include you guys we thought we'd let you guys make all the decisions regards to this so what we're going to do is that we are going to do a what are the best weapons in the game and you get to decide so we're going to go through some of the weapons. I am going to go through some of my favourites, um, just to, to let you know. And these can be for any reason. You know, the you know everyone's got their different reasons for liking different weapons in different classes. And that's 100% fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through all of them, minus the grenade launchers. Um, the grenade launchers, there's only three. So we're not going to include them. But we are going to go through all the others. Now, what we're going to ask of you guys and girls is in the comments to this video, if you can put down, um, I'll show you the best way to do it. It'll be like this. If you do something like this in the comments, so you literally list whether it be ASR, SMG, DMR, and then next to it, you put down your favorite like that. That's perfect. That's what we're looking for. So once you've given us this information on the comment, what we're going to do is we are going to create, we're going to leave it a little while, a week or so, and we're going to use the information that you give us, and we are going to create um, separate videos of a top five weapons in the game. And it is going to be based entirely on your feedback and what you think the best weapons of the game. Now, what we're just looking for, though, is just one example of each, your absolute favourite. Um, it's going to get a lot harder to collate the information if people give us their top four or five. So we're looking for your favourite in each class. And then we'll do a top five for the most requested or the most, um, the most favourited weapon and we'll be able to get a good breakdown of the kind of weapons that people really like to use in the game. Um, I have a funny feeling, I you know, that I know what some of them may or may not be, I think. Just judging from people who talk on the Discord and things like that. The kind of weapons that they like to use. Um, you know, so it's, it's just, we thought it'd just be a really interesting way of including everybody. And in all fairness... It's probably not right for me to turn around and tell you what the best weapons in the game are because everyone has different reasons for liking different weapons. Um, it could be that they prefer the stability of the weapon. It could be that they prefer the range on the weapon. Do you know what I mean? There's so many different options. Um, and we do know that there are some issues with uh, some of the weapons in terms of bullet drop and things like that. And we'll be going into that in a, in a later video. But um, yeah, that we're looking for your help, really. So if you don't mind and you're OK, putting that in the comments, letting us know what they are, then we will gradually break down each of these into a top five based on the weapons that you love in the game and what your favourites are. So let's get started. Or oh, before we do, we've got a Discord. If you'd like to jump into the Discord, we talk about this stuff all the time. Link is on the front of the channel um, and it's also in the description below. So let's get started right now with ASRs. Now, okay, here we are then on the ASRs. So I've got, why does that happen? Blueprints, 147 of 172. I've got all of the weapons in the game. Why are there still blueprints missing? I've got all the attachments. Don't understand that. But, oh, I know it's because of the variant colors in the shop. That's probably why. So I don't buy all the variant colors. Um, so, two of my favourites, straight off the bat at the top there, the 4AC, if you're ever going to raid, that's the weapon that you want to use, um, and the 416. The 416 was, is still one of my go-to weapons, it's in my top three, 100%. And there are some good ones in here, I know some people are big fans of the AK series. Um, the ARX 200 is a really, really nice weapon. 
this one's a great one the um i'm trying to think really uh, the, the g36 i like at close range not for long range um there's some nice ones i like the um mark 17 um grfs the from wildlands that's a really nice weapon oh sorry not from wild well it was a ubisoft connect weapon but um it's um the table is quite nice silver stake should have been much better than what it was it's a bit of a letdown um but i would say overall my favorite is going to be the coblin um only just over the 416 it's the weapon i probably use the most um, I think it's got all round good everything. I know that people say it's a raid weapon. It is a raid weapon, but for me, it works perfectly in immersive mode. That's what I play. Um, and that one, I think, overall is my number one favourite. So, you know, let us know which one your favourite. So, I like the, oh, the 553, I really like as well. That's probably in my top five. Um, but yeah, the um, like I was saying, there's, there's, um, there's some good ones in there. So, what do you think? So, on to pistols. I must admit, I don't tend to use loads of pistols. Just the occasional one here or there. The Maxim 9 Echelon was my go-to for a long time. Or the, just the normal Maxim 9. Um, I still really like those weapons. Um, but, I'd probably say overall my favourite is probably the um, CFSP Ball. Because it's the only kind of fully automatic pistol in the game. Though I do love the Sharp Thunder. The Sharp Thunder's a lot of fun. And I also rocked the USP Tactical for quite a long time as well. But yeah, the CF, uh, the CSFP Ball, like I said, fully automatic. That's why it's the fun factor for me with pistols. Um, I don't tend to use them for base clearing or anything. It's normally a bit of a backup. Um, stuff like that. So yeah, that's uh, the Ball for me is is probably my number one lmgs now okay um a great support weapon obviously um there's some good ones in here most of mine are, are half of them are still mark ones because i don't i have tried i've tried every weapon in the game but i'd say overall for me the stoner compact is probably my favorite though i do really like the um mark 48 as well but i'd say the stoner compact is is probably my go-to LMG though I do really like the MK48 saw that's a good one though I'll just notice I haven't even upgraded that to mark 3 it's very lazy of me um, but yeah I'd say stone compact it's um it's it, the range is not great on it but it's um it's powerful packs a punch um, definitely my number one now the weapon that I use the least is the shotguns and as you can tell, I've hardly upgraded any of them. In fact, I've only upgraded one to Mark III, and that's because that's the only one I use. But that's what this video is all about. Whatever you like, whatever you want to rock. And I rock the ACS-12. Um, it Why? Because it's an absolute beast. Um, it rips drones apart. It rips, you know, enemy soldiers apart. And I don't really need anything else. So I don't tend to use a shotgun very often. Um, as I said, but that's the one that I rock. Um, so on to SMGs. Now this one's a lot harder because there, there's quite a few that I really enjoy using in here. Um, there's there's a decent selection, a better selection than there are, say, of the pistols and um, and the shotguns and things like that. Honey Badger is a big favourite of mine. It's um, it's small, compact. I think it's only got like a seven inch uh, barrel on it. Um, it's a really nice one. The Scorpion Evo is really nice. It's a classic. Um, the MPX Tactical, I'm a big fan of. That works really nicely. It's got slightly better range that I find. Um, even the original MPX has got nice range. But, you know, the Scorpion Evo CQC, ooh, one of the first ones that I unlocked in the classes, that's really nice. But the Evo 3 Tactical is also a really nice weapon as well. Um, I do sometimes use the uh, Vector Quantum as well, down the bottom there. That's a nice weapon, um, especially at short short range. Um, its fire rate is ridiculous. But I'm going to go, for me, probably e the Scorpion Evo 3 CQC, I think, just wins it out, maybe. I think that's the one that I would choose as my number one, maybe. It's got pretty good accuracy um, and a great fire rate. So, sniper rifles now. Okay, sniper rifles. This is an interesting one. 
Um, the I'm a big fan of the TAC-50. Um, the Zastava, of course, is a really nice weapon as well. Um, and, of course, the M82 is a, is a good one. But I think already I know which one I would choose. It will probably be the uh, probably be the M82 Cerberus. It for me, it just feels like the most powerful weapon uh, sniper rifle, at least in the game. Probably the most powerful weapon in the game. It for me, this one's king. Um, I know it frustrates people because you need to do um, you know a, a harder raid to get hold of this. And I know that does bug people. I totally understand that. But it is a lovely weapon. So DMRs now. The 416 Scout. This is a really nice weapon. Um, it's got good range on it. Um, obviously with that long barrel. But there's there's so many. I think there's a lot of good DMRs. Um, there's quite a few that I haven't, uh, haven't ranked up to Mark III. Um, but the 553 Scout. I really enjoy using that. The M4A1 Scout I've used quite a lot. That's pretty accurate too. Um, but I think maybe... Oh, the Tavor Scout's not bad either, actually. The Tavor Scout's quite a nice one. I uh, quite enjoy using that one. Um, but the Paladin 9, you do not want to touch that. Oh, in the, well, that's in the Sniper Rifles. Sorry, I've got myself confused. Paladin 9 in the Sniper Rifles, by the way. Just don't touch that weapon with a barge pole. But my favourite in the DMRs is the um, is the Mark 14. Or the Mark 14 Assault. Um, I just like the look of them as well. And I do like the looks of weapons. But they would be probably... I'd say maybe the Mark 14 Assault possibly would be my favourite. Um, the recoil was slightly harder. Um, but the power is better. But I do really like that one. But there's a lot of good DMRs to choose from. The Scorpio Scout's really nice. Um, so yeah, there we are. So those are the choices that we've got. Um, looking through all of those. Um, like I said, we're not doing grenade launchers. Um, it's not worth it. Because they're all too similar. And there's not enough of them. So it's really down to you guys now. Um, what do you like? Um, what's your favourites? I mean, you can list if you like and then tell us why underneath the list. That would be cool. Tell us why you like this weapon. Is it because you feel it's accurate or you like the stability of it or whatever it is? Um, you know, you like the fire rate or the, the hit rate, the damage that it does, you know, to drones and things like that. Let us know. We'd love to know. This, this video can only work if we get the feedback from you guys and we, you know, we're really lucky to have really great feedback from all of you. So thank you so much for all the feedback that you do give us. But it'd be really nice if you kind of vote for your favourites. Then obviously they're all going to be included. They're all going to be counted. Um, there you go. Okay, I look forward to putting these together. Looking forward to seeing what you guys have got to say. Um, so until the next one, thank you so much for watching. Massively appreciate it. Um, take care. We'll see you on the soon. See you on the next one. Bye bye.